Okay, hello YouTubers. Good afternoon. Got a game against Grandmaster here. Let's play the Sicilian this time. I just played two unrecorded games, also against Grandmasters, in three minute. And I did not fare very well on the clock. So I'm going to make a point to play faster. <laughs> I play the con Sicilian, e6 and a6. This little queen shimmy he did with queen g4, g6, and then queen back to e2 is designed to force me to weaken my position. So getting me to play g6. I don't want to develop this knight too fast because he can play bishop h6 and stop me from castling. So when he plays that move, I think now it's okay to develop my knight. I might try to wait one move, though. Yeah, let's wait one move. Fianchetto this bishop. Okay, now when he does that, let's do this. And here, if it goes according to plan for me, I'll put my bishop on b7 and my rook on g8, and I'll have pressure against g2. He might be trying to beat me to the punch with that. I can play d5 here. Isn't that annoying for him? Yeah, let's do that. Pawn roller in the center. I was surprised he played f5 so quickly. I don't want to play d4 because he can go knight takes d4. Although maybe bishop c5 then. e4 would be the normal move here. However, I'm not certain about that. Not enough time to make a proper decision here. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Okay, he's sacrificing. Really, this looks unsound though. Surprised by the way he's playing it. Um, what to do? What to do? Let's go with take, and then we'll take on f5. Bishop here. And if he wants to keep this attack going, he's going to have to invest more material, like rook takes e6. If knight d4, I can play bishop e7. I mean, I'm up material here, but... He's got a clock advantage. My king's still stuck in the center. Should be winning if I can consolidate. Not thrilled to go at my dark square bishop. Time. Oh boy, I really got to move fast. Big time problems. Can he sack on e6 now? Chose not to.
Check. Now we definitely can. Check. Now we'll probably take on g4. Yeah. Check. Eh, that's too bad. Slow play. Very slow Check. play by me. Check. Yeah, I'm just gonna get queen d7. Check. Okay. <laughs> I'm not having much luck in these three minute games lately. Um, going back. So with this con Sicilian, bishop d3 is, I think, considered more challenging than knight c3. It's a more flexible move. And I played this line, which I've seen recommended in a couple different places. With bishop c5, you try to inconvenience the knight on d4. And then you go back to e7. The logic being, you know, you could put your bishop on e7 right away, but better to make this knight move from its central post. While, especially while his uh, coordination between the queen and the knight is interrupted. And then I almost only see good players do this, but he played queen g4 and then went back to e2. Kind of like what I did with bishop c5 and then back to e7. So he's attempting to create a weakness, force me to create a weakness here. And now if ever I develop this knight, I have to reckon with the possibility of bishop h6 stopping me from castling. But fortunately for black, there's a number of moves they can play before having to commit this knight. So I did that, played all these moves. And then when he did f4, I went knight out. I found that when f5 is played in this structure, it's almost always correct for black to um, either play what I did, like take, take, take with the g-pawn that is, when the, he takes back, play e5, pushing past, getting the two center pawns. Or sometimes black can play knight e5, jump into the square that uh, was weakened as a result of what white did. This is a great outpost square in the Sicilian. All Sicilian players will agree with that. If you can put a knight on e5, you're happy. And I think, I mean, great position for me. e5, he played rook f3, and I played d5. This pawn roller is intimidating. And now, I mean, e4 is on the table. He played rook e3. I didn't play d4 because I thought knight takes d4 was possible for him. Um, even here, I was looking at like bishop c5, which I think wins the exchange for me. He'll have to retreat, and then I take. Check. Uh, I thought maybe he'd have some compensation. Here's where we'll cheat and put on the engine. Hmm. So the engine just thinks I should develop bishop b7. I played this move. And he took, well, I was way more optimistic about my position here than the computer thinks. I thought I was going to be able to consolidate. So he should take with a rook, apparently. Why is that so good for white? So if I go here, let's say, c4. Complex position. Hmm. Evidently, white has more play than I thought he did. But he took with a bishop. And here, I guess, take, take rook e5 was good for him. I guard the knight, and then the c4 move once again. Yeah, because if I go here, he can pressure this bishop easily like rook e1, or as the computer's proposing, bishop g5. So tough to play these complicated positions in the three-minute pool. There's a premium on quick, decisive decision-making in these games. So he tripled, and I got to capture on f5. Yeah, even here, thinks he's he's got great play if he goes rook c4. As played, this looks solid for me. Still, he kept coming. Now the computer advocates rook takes e6. 
or bishop g5. Now I'm down to 20 seconds, and also <laughs> my position is apparently not that great either. He had some strong possibilities around here, queen f3 being one of them. Check. Right, and then he got that move in. Check. Oh, and I guess he missed bishop d6, winning my queen. Did this. Yeah. Check. So, lesson learned, I gotta move much faster in these games. And hope you guys got a couple things, picked up a couple tidbits of information about the con Sicilian, which is black playing e6 and a6. It's an extremely flexible line. I played it on many occasions for black. I like this point about bishop c5 getting them to move the knight, and then going back to e7. And then black hopes to arrange his pieces in like a hedgehog formation. So this knight comes to d7, queen goes to c7, this pawn will go to b6 or b5, this bishop will go to b7, and this knight will go here, if everything goes correctly for black. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day.